Hey guys, it's Matt here, welcome back, and today we're doing the top 10 Android apps of June for 2017. The first app up is called Navbar Apps, and this is an app which allows you to change your navigation bar to match the color of the app you're actually in. So for example, if you go into Instagram, the navigation bar will go pink to match the icon. If you go into Gmail, it will go red. If you go into Twitter, it will go blue. And I think you get the idea. It changes to match the color theme of the app. So I really do like this. It sort of emphasizes the rounded corners more of the S8 especially because Samsung have a black navigation bar. It really doesn't show those rounded corners off. Something else you can do is you can set a static color. You can also show your battery level on a navigation bar and you can set an image and even emojis if you want. I'm not too sure why you put the emojis as a little bit overdone for me. Anyway, the main reason I'm showing you this is because of the color changing feature. Definitely go check this out guys, it's so awesome. Okay, so the app up next is called Spot on Alarm. This one allows you to set Spotify music or playlist in order to wake you up in the morning. So you can go ahead and log into your Spotify, then you go and pick a song you wanna play or a playlist. You can choose whether it fades in, whether it shuffles. You can play it through external devices like a speaker or an Amazon Echo. And then you can set whether your phone vibrates, whether it shows a notification, at the top, you can then change the time on this analog clock, and then you're good to go. So all you do is you hit save, it will save that preset, and then you can go ahead and turn it on via the toggle switch. So it's a really good app, go check it out. Okay, the next app up is called AirDroid. This one allows you to transfer data from your Android device over to your computer or vice versa. Now you, you have some other stuff in the app as well. You have a file manager, you can record your screen and back up your device. But the main reason I use this is because you can transfer things to other people and other devices. For example, I can click on something like my phone and I can go ahead and send something to that. Now it doesn't make sense because I'm logged into my phone right now, but if I click on my computer, I can go ahead and send things straight to it. So I can go select a song and I can hit send and that will actually download onto my computer. Now you can also do the same with images and pretty much any other file you can go find in your file manager, but you can also go ahead and send apps. So if you click on an app, it will actually extract the APK and send it across. I find this especially useful the other way around, so if I want to get an APK onto my phone from my computer. But if you don't want to have the app installed on your computer, you can actually go to this web address here and just scan the QR code with your phone, and then it will actually allow you to transfer things to the browser, and then you can just download it from there onto your computer. You can also connect your computer to your phone through a hotspot, and this app will actually allow you to track how much data is being used. So this is really good if you want to keep within your limit, and if you don't want to go over the top and use up all your data, this is definitely a really cool option. This app is really useful for me anyway, so I would definitely go ahead and check it out nonetheless. Okay, up next isn't an app. Well, it sort of is, but it's a keyboard. So this is a keyboard I use on, on pretty much a daily basis. I absolutely love this keyboard. It has so many cool things about it. It has the swiping input where you can swipe across to actually input words. It also has loads of gestures built in. So if you swipe along the space bar, you can open Google. If you swipe up from the enter key, you can actually get your emojis. There's also other stuff built in, like I have my name on the space bar. And you can also change the height of the keyboard. You can change whether it changes color depending on which app you're in. And you can also set up this swiping thing where you swipe the number pad at the top of the keyboard to the left or right. And will actually give you things like copy and paste quick options and suggested emojis depending on the context of what you're typing. But even that isn't why I love this keyboard. The fact I love this keyboard is because it changes color to match the app you're in. So in the Play Store, it's green. In Nova, it's red. And if you go into Twitter, it'll be blue. So I think you get the idea, but definitely go get this keyboard. It is amazing. I love it so much. Okay, so up next is Google Rewards. This is an app where Google send out surveys to you and it's normally just one or two questions and they'll actually pay you 20 cents per question. Now the amount of money does vary a lot. You might get 30 cents, you might get 10 cents, but you will get some money for it usually. And this will actually build up. So as you can see with my history, they're paying me small little amounts each time I answer a question. And after owning this app for a while, I've actually built up $24. And now I can go ahead in the Play Store and go buy whatever I want completely free because of this app. So I would definitely recommend it to you guys if you want to get some free money for the Play Store and it's legal. The next app up on the list is called Hooked. And this is a storytelling app, but it's got a little bit of a twist. This app has definitely hooked me. I completely agree with the name but it's basically a storytelling app with different characters messaging each other on their phone and you get to actually view the messages and that's sort of the way it tells the story. So they're saying things like, where is he? Uh, what does he look like? How do you know him? And they're sort of explaining to each other about what's going on and you get to sort of read in and that's how it tells the story to you. So you can go back to the menu and you can go and pick from a bunch of different stories, but they're all pretty much sort of scary or dark. So uh, there isn't really any sort of uplifting happy stories. They're all sort of spooky stories. And I really do like that. I'm sort of into those. And I really do like the way it gives it across in this sort of text messaging style. Now you don't get unlimited skips for free, so you can't like view all of them at once. Uh, so you might have to wait a little bit of time between viewing them, but it's still a really cool app and I'd recommend it to you guys. It's awesome. 
Okay, up next is Icon Pack Studio, and this is a really neat app if you want to make your own icon packs, but maybe you don't know how to use Photoshop or some sort of graphics editor, you don't know how to put the APK together with the apps inside, and also there's a lot of icons to make because there is a lot of apps out there. And this app sort of gets around that. So this allows you to actually customize the shape of your app, to customize the height, the width, the background color. You can also alter the outline as well, and you can actually go ahead and change the size of it, which is really nice. You can move it left and right, up and down, position it however you like. You can change the color. You can give the icon perspective. And you can also add like a glossy light effect and you can change the angle where the light comes in and how much is hitting the icon. And when you're done, you simply hit export. And if you pull down your notification pull down, it will actually show you it's generating an APK. So when this is done, all you do is you install it on your device and then you can open it like a regular icon pack app and simply apply it to your launcher. So if I open it, there's my launcher, that's Nova. If I click on it and hit apply, now when I go back, you can actually see the icon pack I just created within like 10 seconds is now applied. Now obviously you can do a better job than me, I spent like 10 seconds on it, so you can really put a lot of time into it and make a really decent icon pack. Something I especially like is there's no missing icons. Because it's generated the icons specifically for each app, that means there isn't any that aren't made. So there's no like old icons or sort of different shaped icons in between. They all look the same theme and that's why I absolutely love this app. Okay, so up next is Awesome Icons, and using this app, you can actually apply icon packs to your stock launcher or any other launcher that doesn't normally allow you to. So how the app works is you select the launcher, and then you go ahead and create a shortcut. So you select the app you want to launch, and then you can go and pick the icon, say from your photos or from an icon pack you've downloaded, and then you simply save it, and it will apply it to your home screen. So when I go on my home screen, you can see I have a Spotify icon, and that's actually a shortcut to the app that I made before. So it's not actually the Spotify app, and it does act the same as the regular app. It just allows you to change the appearance. Up next is purchased apps, and this is one I found recently because I was sort of wondering like which apps have I actually bought? Over the years, how many apps have I bought? How much have I spent? And do I have them anymore? And the answer for pretty much all of them was no. So this shows you a list of every app you've purchased. So the actual app from the Play Store and in-app purchases, and you can go ahead and view them. So you can see how much you paid for them and you can go ahead and click on them and re-download them if you want. But you can also change the sorting order. So you can go ahead and sort them from oldest to newest. So you can go see what the first app you bought was. And in my case, it was the Doodle Jump Pro version. And you can also filter it so you can actually show only apps that aren't installed on your device. And you can filter whether it shows in-app purchases or just an app purchase. It's definitely really, really useful and you might wanna go check it out. Okay, so the app up next is called Frame. This is a really nice minimalistic wallpaper app which sort of displays the wallpapers in an elegant way. So you swipe left and right to get to different pages. You can then click on a wallpaper. It has a scrolling ability and you can also set the wallpaper, download the wallpaper or actually share it to other people. Now this wallpaper app does have ads in it but it's not much of a big deal for me. It does sort of take away from the experience a little bit, but you're getting a really high quality wallpaper, so it's a small price to pay for that. As you can see, this wallpaper looks stunning. The wallpapers don't really go as much with my widget on my home screen, but I can easily go ahead and change that. But it really depends on sort of how your layout is on your device, but these can look super good if you have a minimalistic setup on your home screen. As you can see, pretty much every single photo within this app is actually an outdoor shot. It has sort of a natural look to it, sort of a landscape theme, and you can go ahead and search for different things. So you can go and search for the sea or birds or really whatever you want, a forest. And you can go ahead and find some really cool wallpapers that sort of match that theme. Another really cool one is this moon effect. I really love this on an AMOLED screen because it has that deep black effect and the various moons in the photo really stand out. So I think this is more of my sort of wallpaper to the ones I put on before, uh, but there's definitely a lot to choose from. So go ahead and check it out. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it. That is my top 10 apps. So I will have all of the links for these down below and the links for the wallpapers as well. So definitely go check the description for that. But I really hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Peace out guys, see you later.